guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to choose a shampoo to bathe your dog. So I know that we're all spending a lot of time at home right now, and a lot of people are trying to groom their dogs when they have never done so before. I have seen so many people asking recommendations for shampoos or how to trim nails or how to trim fur. And so this particular video is going to be dedicated to choosing the appropriate shampoo for your dog, which may sound like a really simple thing, and it is once you know what you're looking for. Um, just as a side note, if you are interested in how to trim your dog's nails for beginners, I did a video on that last week, so I will leave a link down below in the description. Make sure you check out that video as well because it's all part of this grooming series. So with that, let's go ahead and get into some of the things that you need to be looking for when picking out a shampoo for washing your dog. So you may think that you can wash your dog with any old shampoo and the truth is that a lot of shampoos on the market can actually be quite harmful to your dog's skin. They're really, really harsh and they may contain a lot of chemicals. So we wanna be very careful and pay close attention to the labels on a shampoo when we're picking it out for our dogs. First thing we need to know, do not use dish soap to wash your dog. That is an abrasive chemical that we do not want to put on our dog's skin. And so that's the number one thing I want you to get from this video is not to use dish soap. But when we are looking at shampoos, we want to find something, first of all, that is made specifically for a dog because they need a different pH balance for their skin than we do as humans. So if you think that you're gonna just grab the shampoo that you're using on your hair and use that on your dog, it's not going to be the best for your dog because they truly do need a different shampoo altogether. Their skin is not going to be able to handle the same things that your skin is going to be able to handle. So that's the second tip. The first one being do not use dish detergent. The second one being pick a shampoo that is designed specifically for dogs. The third thing I want you to do is read the label and read the ingredient labels. We definitely wanna pick something that does not have any harsh chemicals in it, that has clean ingredients in it. We want something that's gentle and non-toxic, of course. We definitely don't wanna put anything on our dogs that's gonna to be toxic for them. A huge bonus if it's made in the USA, cruelty-free is a huge bonus for me. I know that when I'm picking out my own supplies, say shampoo or conditioner, picking something that is cruelty free is a big deal for me so I want to extend that into what I'm picking out for my dogs as well it's at, at this day and age there has been so much testing done in the past there's no need to continue animal testing on cosmetic products it's to me it's cruel and unnecessary and so if when I find a brand that I know that is labeled cruelty free uh, that is definitely bonus points in my book and the two biggest things that you definitely want to look for on a shampoo label are, is that they have one, no parabens, and parabens are used to extend the shelf life of a shampoo product. But unfortunately, what they do is exacerbate skin condition. So if you have a dog that has any sort of skin condition, it can definitely exaggerate and agitate, exaggerate any existing symptoms and agitate their skin. If you have a dog that maybe doesn't necessarily currently have any skin conditions, it's definitely not gonna help. Parabens are skin irritants, so it's really not a great thing to see on a label when you know you're putting that directly on your dog's skin. And the second really big thing to find on a shampoo label for your dog is sulfate free. Sulfates are going to strip away the natural oils that are on your dog's coat at, at the base of their fur. And these are good oils. They're not oils that are gonna make your dog look greasy. They're the natural oils that your dog's skin needs to be moisturized and look and feel healthy. So sulfates, really in the long run are going to make your dog's coat and fur look really dry and brittle. So definitely no parabens and no sulfates. Uh, another bonus is if you find a product that is certified USDA organic. So uh, the one shampoo 
Now, this is not the only shampoo that I would recommend, but the top shampoo that I personally would recommend is Four Legger. And Four Legger just makes dog pro grooming products and they meet every single criteria that I've listed in this video. No parabens, no sulfates, USDA certified organic, all clean ingredients. There is nothing unnecessary in this bottle of shampoo. Its base is Castile soap, which is the most natural and safest soap that we have available on the planet. And I prefer the unscented and the reason I get the unscented is because I can then add my own veterinary grade essential oils as I as I need or as my dog needs and of course I always recommend Animalio and I will put a link in the description of this video both to Four Legger shampoo as well as to Animalio um, but this video is not specifically about using Animalio. It is just about picking the right shampoo for your dog. So these are the tips that I want to give you in picking out the perfect shampoo for your dog. Really, overall, you want something that's going to be really gentle on your dog, but also clean their fur. And this is at the top of the list for me. This is not the only one, but definitely the one that I wanted to highlight in this video because it checks all of the boxes of everything that I've laid out in this video. So, so if you have any questions at all about grooming your dog or picking a shampoo or trying to decipher a label, let me know, post in the comments below. If you, if this is your first time trying to groom your dog because you know, we're all stuck inside and we still need to be able to groom our dogs, then leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to tag me on Insta. If you are bathing your dog, especially if you're using four legger shampoo, tag me on Insta. Um, and my handle is down below in the description. It's at Jessica Lynn Fisher. I would love to see photos of you and your dog and you bathing your dog. So don't forget to do that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if, you are, if you're not already subscribed, why aren't you? Join the family and become part of Pet Parent Nation by clicking that red subscribe button below. Once you click the button, a bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way, YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Tag me on Insta when you're bathing your dog. So thanks so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.